Hi. <lacht> alright, alright, alright. Long time no see. I don't know how the saying goes, but here I am. After my vacation, hallo, grüß Gott, everyone. My name is Johannes. And today I'm bringing you yet another perfume related video. Today <laughs> I'm responding to a comment of a friend who asked me if I could do a video on a solid state perfume. This is basically a solid perfume. I have it right over here. I have no idea what's inside. I just ordered anything, basically. No idea what's coming at me. I'm gonna unbox this. I'm gonna talk a little bit what I think about solid perfumes, their advantages, disadvantages, and their development in the future. And of course, I'm doing a first impressions of this. So let's stay tuned. All right, solid state perfume. That's actually the brand. Today we st we're talking a little bit about solid perfumes and their future. So what are the main advantages of those solid perfumes? And why are they so popular right now? I think there are many advantages that will become relevant in the future. For example, if you're traveling a lot, it's more convenient. You can put them because they're super small. They're like most of the times three to five grams. That still lasts you very long, by the way. You can put it in your, in your trouser pocket. They're space saving. So that means you can stack them up in your shelves. You don't really have to be super careful about protecting them from light or oxygen. Of course, I would not place it like in the direct sun or anything, but you have to be more careful with alcohol containing products. If they fall down, the worst thing that can happen is that they break apart, but you still don't lose anything. If a perfume falls down, then well, it will shatter just like this bottle of Aqua Di Joe. And you will of course spill the perfume and that's not good. <laughs> you will have to smell everywhere and not with a solid state perfume. When applying, you it's said that you put them on your pulse points like over here and in your in this armrest right here. You can also put it on your neck. And what's really nice, you don't have to worry if you put it in your hair. Because the beeswax, because most of those perfumes contain a little bit of beeswax to make it a solid. Um, it's not bad for your hair, whereas alcohol, for example, is not that good for your hair. If you're spraying, you're wasting a lot. <laughs> You're wasting a lot of perfume. With the solid perfumes, you don't waste that much, actually nothing, because you basically put it on your skin and there's nothing evaporating into the air that can get lost. I mean, if you spray yourself, I don't know, maybe 80% of what comes out hits you and will stay on you and the other 20% are just for the air, for smelling good. There are a lot of advantages for those solid perfumes. There are also a lot of disadvantages in my opinion and the main reason why they're not popular right now is because there is no real history of, of those solid perfumes, you know. There ha hasn't been established any perfume families like with alcohol based ones like the Chypre or the Fougère where many very popular fragrances got their inspiration from. Many of those solid perfumes I saw online, they're only like containing three notes. I don't know how this works together with the beeswax, if you really have to be careful because beeswax, beeswax has its own smell as well. And I don't know how strong it is or how this interacts. I'm not that fond of if it's so easy to recreate uh, a Bleu de Chanel as a solid perfume because you have to think about the beeswax. So that's a little challenge. And another disadvantage, you don't really have samples, or at least I've never come, came across samples. Maybe you get those. With perfumes, it's very popular that you always have the chance to buy or get samples for free, to, to also wear them and see how you like them, if you grow on them, how long they last and so on and so forth. 
So that's not really the case with solid perfumes. Most of those solid perfumes what I know are marketed uh, uh, online or the more popular ones. For people buying samples, it's also a little bit less, um, they, they rather go blind buying those. And that's not good because you should always try a scent before you buy it. Another problem uh, is or would be that our great perfumers like Alberto Morillas and Jacques Poche and all those great minds and noses, they are not really trained for solid perfumes. In this whole process of learning perfumes, you never really have a, a segment or a section where you learn about the solid perfumes. You have to discover yourself the solid perfume uh, world. I personally think that in the future there will be more and more solid perfumes, the alcohol-based ones, even though the glass balls are fragile, even though they might spill. Also because the flacons themselves are a form of art, how they look, and this is not really existing within the solid perfume thing. They're all like those little, little um, digger, I don't know how it's called in English, you know, how the, those little soaps they're so small, there's not much room for creativity or artsy stuff. That's not that appealing for a customer. I had customers telling me that they won't buy a fragrance because it, the bottle looked like something they would never um, consider as a fragrance. That's why they did not even want to try the fragrance, even though it was a great perfume. Enough talk, let's see what I really think about solid perfumes. I got myself this knife, so let's open this baby up. Okay, so that's how it looks. So it comes in this little um, container. I'm not quite sure. If... Oh, all right. <laughs> Okay, it's said to be like rubbing your finger. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Rubbing your finger. Very smooth, by the way. <sighs> okay, Aviator is very fresh. Java gelish. It's a little bit citric. <sighs> and if this was like something to spray, I would say that's smelling a little bit generic. It, it doesn't really project that loud and I wasn't expecting it to project very loud. I think that it will stay a long time on your skin. I'm not quite sure how much to put it on. Like, I was like scrubbing a little bit, applying a little bit, done. So I don't know if you have to put more or less. The concentration of oils compared to a uh, spray perfume would be the same or more or less the same. Even it's and yet you have the feeling that it's super little that you're putting on, it should be more than enough because it's pure oil. Thank you for watching, thank you for your time. I hope that you could learn something. I hope that you could take away something and maybe in a few years you will have your own solid perfume or maybe you're interested in purchasing Aviator from Solid State. So I'll put definitely the link in my video description. Thank you so much for watching, it's been a pleasure. I haven't made a video for a long time now. I wish you all the best and see you in the <laughs> and see you in the next one. <laughs> Take care.